Hello, I am Mujteba Çelik, Chief Technology Officer of RevBits. Today, I'm going to answer a question that I'm getting quite often, and that is, why do I need RevBits email security when I have already deployed the leading email security solution? The answer is actually really quite simple. In 2020, the gateway-based email security solution that you have deployed just isn't good enough anymore to protect you against sophisticated phishing attacks. Studies have shown that more than 25% of email threads are currently being missed by all the leading email security solutions, uh, which is uh, a massive problem. And honestly, personally, I think they are being generous here with the 25%. That is why you need multi-layer approach to email security with Revis email security, catching the threads uh, that are missed by your email security gateway. In the following demo, I will show you how easy it is for a phishing attack to bypass a secure email gateway solution and uh, how RevBits email security manages to block it. Uh, for demo purposes, I will be using Microsoft ATP, Plan2, and uh, Google Secure Enterprise Email, but it could be any other leading email security solutions uh, that are out there. Uh, because they all work in a similar way. So let's get started. This demo, I actually just registered this domain, login-outlook-web.com, and I set up an SSL certificate for this website, which is a free certificate from Let's Encrypt. So let's do one quick sanity test in here. So if I replace something and refresh the page, as you can see, this is the same site. So now I'm going to use a PHP script that I found online and it's not a rocket science. You can do the same thing. It's, it's just, I found this code online. This will impersonate any website that you put here in these two var variables and you can impersonate any website basically that you want. So in this case, uh, initially, uh, I'm going to try to impersonate uh, Microsoft uh, Outlook 365 login page. So let's get started. I'm going to copy this. And paste that code and save. Now, if I refresh this website, as you can see, now I'm impersonating Outlook 365 an office login page. And if you enter your credentials in this website, I will be able to capture your credentials. And if I go to a Proton email that I just registered for this test and I try to send it to two accounts that I have one is using Outlook 365 and it is protected by Microsoft ATP so let's confirm that uh, I have uh, where is that the subscription yep here you go okay as you can see I have Office 365 ad advanced Threat Protection Plan 2, which it was the highest, uh, that was the highest that I could buy. And the same thing with the Google email suite, which is the enterprise. Again, that was the highest that was available for me to buy. If I go to this attacker's free email, Proton, uh, if I try to send an email, let's, let's do that. So obviously a real uh, attacker will actually craft a much better email and they will try to use HTML uh, styling and they will style their email to look like a legitimate Office 365 uh, account reset email or something like that. I'm not going to get into that. I will just try to create one email that will include the link to my phishing site, which at the core, it's, it's just the same. So password here and I will paste the URL so now I'm sending this URL and this URL is impersonating Office 365 so let's uh, if I try to send this let's see okay I sent the email now let's see okay there you go I received the email there is no notification it did not block the email. It did not give me any, any indication that this might be a phishing campaign, this a phishing attack, and it didn't go to spam. It actually just came straight to my inbox. And if I click on this link, it will just take me to this uh, Office 365 impersonation site. So 
how about Google? Let's try that with the Google one as well. I'm going to go back to my free email from Proton. I will enter the second email address. And I will enter the uh, the message and let's send. Okay. The email is sent. Okay. I got the email. And again, there is absolutely no indication that this is a phishing email. And it's right here. And if I click on this link, it will take me again to my fake phishing site. Now, let's see what Revit's email security says about this email. If I go to my Outlook, as you can see, uh, Revit's email security detected this email and it is giving some clear indication uh, and explanation on why this email is a phishing email. Basically, it is saying that page impersonation is detected. This HTTPS login-outlook-web is impersonating Office 365 login page, 100% similarity. And also it's saying that phish test 2020 Proton Mail is actually coming from a free web mail, free email provider, and the domain login-outlook-web.com is registered and updated recently, which as I said, I just literally registered it 10 minutes ago. So as you can see, this is why you need Revit's email security. So let's do a little bit something different, right? Let's change the attack against Outlook 365. Let's do it against Bank of America, maybe something like that, right? So I'm going to replace this URL, Bank of America.com and I will do the same in here. I actually didn't read the code, but I'm going to remove the old file, paste the new code. If I refresh the page, I should see there you go. Now my site is impersonating bankofamerica.com and uh, now we are going to retry. Let's send this email once again and uh, let's see if this time any of these email security gateway solutions will detect it. So same process. I'm going to do it again. To Actually, I'm going to send them both in one single email and we don't have to do it separately. BOA login. Please log into your BOA account here. I'm going to put this all right let's send that out okay all right so email is sent let's go okay so this just appeared in my inbox again there is no detection same thing in here EOA login if I clicked on, on this link, I'm going to get to the site that's I'm controlling this. It's a fake Bank of America site. And if I do the same from the Google account, if I click on this link, again, the Bank of America site. So there's absolutely no detection and it didn't warn me. It didn't tell me anything about this potentially that this might be a phishing attack. And uh, and I have SSL certificate here and I bought this domain literally a couple of minutes ago. So these are all can be done very easily by any attacker. It does as you can see, it doesn't require any special skill set and uh, it will be effective uh, phishing campaign if, if your email security solution cannot detect this attack. So let's go back to our inbox with the uh, with uh, e Revit's email security. The second email got detected and again, it is telling to the user that it is impersonating Bank of America, 100% similarity, same thing that it's coming from a free email provider and that it has been registered very recently. So this is just one example attack that can happen and anybody can do this and there is absolutely no detection whatsoever from gateway level email security uh, appliances and solutions out there. Now for the second attack, I'm going to try to send a known malicious phishing URL through email and we are going to see how Google email security or Microsoft ATP will behave. So the known URL is this one that I just found in our thread intelligence feed. So if I try to send this to my Google email, or if I try to send it from my Google email to Microsoft ATP protected email, As you can see, it's not getting detected. And when you go to junk folder, it's not there and it is not getting delivered. And same thing, there you go. So as you can see, this email is detected as malicious and Google and Microsoft ATP is very well aware of this and they are blocking this email. So what if instead of sending the URL in the email body, 
What if I put that email URL inside a PDF file and try to send it as a PDF file? So as you can see, I created a PDF file that contains nothing, just that malicious and known URL. So if I try to send this PDF, drag and drop this and try to send that to my Microsoft email, let's see what happens. There you go. So I received the email. There is absolutely no indication whatsoever that this email might be malicious. And if I open the PDF file, I can easily click on this URL and it will take me to the malicious website. So this is obviously not ideal. We don't want employees to click on the malicious URLs. And uh, just because the URL is inside a PDF does not mean that it should be able to bypass the protection. Okay, now let's see what Revit's email security have to say for this particular email with this particular attachment. So if, if I try to send this email to my Google email, Okay, as you can see, it just goes to spam folder and ATP actually failed to detect this, but Google Enterprise Email Security is actually detecting it. But what if I go one layer further and I put this PDF inside a doc file? Let's see what happens if I do that. So if I open an empty Word file and uh, I just drag and drop this invoice.pdf inside a doc file, and I obviously in a realistic phishing scenario, attackers will create a realistic looking uh, doc file with all the explanation on why users should double click and open the invoice PDF. But it's just, uh, or alternatively, I can put this file inside a zip file, but let's just save this. Okay, now we created our docx file. Now I'm going to send this from Microsoft ATP. Okay, now let's see what happens. There we go. So I just created one URL and I placed that URL inside a PDF and Microsoft ATP just failed to detect it. And uh, Google email security was able to detect that part. But if I put that PDF inside a zip file or if I put that PDF inside a doc file or a rare file or one layer, one additional simple layer, I can obviously put this in a doc file or inside a zip file, it doesn't matter. Google email security just completely fails to detect this email and it is going to be the same across all the gateway level appliances. They cannot just keep going layer after layer and uh, looking at the attachments and the URL inside all these layers. So obviously this was not detected and I can click and open the invoice, the PDF, and then a PDF will take me to that malicious URL. Okay, now let's see what will happen if I had Revit's email security enabled in our account. Email is delivered and there is no detection. Now if we go to Revit's email security in Outlook, as you can see clearly, it is explaining the reasons why this email is detected. It is saying that there is an embedded OLE object inside this doc file. There is no password protection, but the URL and the domain is blacklisted, so it knows about these malicious URLs, and it is extracting layer after layer after layer. So I can do this even a little bit more complicated. So just to show you how Revit's email security will peel layers after layers and do the analysis on the final document file, I'm just going to put the uh, docx file that contains a PDF that contains a URL inside a zip file and I can put that zip file inside a 7z file so now I have a 7z file that contains a zip file that contains a docx file that contains a PDF file that contains the URL so it doesn't matter how many layers are there Revit's email security will detect this email let's try so I go to this email let's send it from Microsoft so it's six layers PDF, zip, 7-zip, docx. And if I drag and drop this, send it. Okay, the email shows up 
in our inbox and there is no detection and uh, let's go back to Revis email security and see what Revis email security have to say okay if I open this file it starts analyzing it there you go absolutely the same thing same detection just like there were no compression no no layers it just feels like there are no layers it automatically detected the file and detected the uh, compressions decrypted one after another and found the malicious urls behind it i can do even one more layer and that is going to be the password protection so let's try that one so if i get grab this docx file and try to add it to let's make this a zip file let's add a password test okay now we have invoice.zip that's password protected if i try to access it as you can see it is password protected now let's send this and see what reverse email security will do okay see the attached file password is test so you might say okay you're sending the password in the email body but because that's exactly what the attackers will do if their victim does not know the password they will not be able to unlock it so there's no attack so always in the phishing campaigns the password comes in the same email or in the email before or after i can do the same thing i can send the password in a separate email in the same email or in a follow-up email revit email security will detect the password and decrypt the attachment it doesn't matter how the attacker sends the password it can be in different email previous or after it doesn't matter Revit email security will detect the password decrypt the attachment and analyze the files behind the attachment in, inside the attachment so let's go back here there you go again there is no detection but it just tells us that this attachment is encrypted and uh, there because it was encrypted google email security was not able to analyze this attachment and obviously uh, it's still i can download it and the password is right there but Google email security is failing to detect that and it's just allowing me to download the file but let's see what Revit email security will do there you go automatically it detected the password decrypted the attachment as you can see in here decrypted one compressed file with the password and found the malicious URL behind the protection of password and zip and docx and a PDF I hope this demo has shown the obvious reason to complement your secure email gateway with a solution to stop the more sophisticated phishing attacks. The unique and patented architecture of Revit email security that analyzes and blocks the email when they are entering the inbox makes it an ideal solution to stop the threats that were missed by the gateway. As you have seen, Revit email security can block uh, the more sophisticated phishing attacks even hidden in multiple layers of attachment uh, compression, encryption, uh, and page impersonation attacks are a thing of the past based on another patented approach that we have in Revit email security. Also, as suspicious emails are being detected and blocked and grayed out at the end user's inbox, and while displaying the reason for blocking it, everyone is getting continuous security awareness training uh, on email security. For more details on Revit email security or to schedule a demo and get a trial account, please visit our website at revit.com. Thanks for watching and have a great day.